Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. In this video, we are going to make a complete responsive website using Bootstrap and pure HTML and CSS. So why I am saying Bootstrap and pure HTML and CSS? Because we use some portion of Bootstrap, some portion of HTML, some portion of CSS. And by the help of this, we design a completely amazing responsive website. And this website is completely for beginners. And if you make this website, you may learn lots of different things. So before starting this video, first I want to show what we are going to make. You can see I already created this application or you can say website. It contains several images. So first I run this website. So I double click on it and you can see this website is looking great. It contains a navigation view. It contains a subscribe button and this subscribe button is linked to my YouTube channel. So when I click on subscribe button, it directly open my YouTube channel. So I close this here. So this is the navigation menu with drop down and it contain android project java project so you can link it with anything it is your choice i am not linking here i i only show you how to make this now this is the parallax effect you can see the wallpaper is steady and if i come down you can see the wallpaper is on the fixed position so if you want to make parallax effect it is your choice if you want to make a moving wallpaper then i will also show you how to do this so come down and you can see it show my all projects it is the calculator it is a date picker it has a calculator in android studio it contain images with its description so you can write anything it is description in now come down and here you can see the footer footer contain four icon with the amazing hour effect you can see you will fall in love with this hour effect of this footer so this social media icons looks amazing and you can make this and in this video i'm going to tell everything how to make this now i want to show one more thing i already embedded a link into my this calculator so when i click on this it you can see it open the github repository so this is the code so this is the website which you can use to show your project and which you can use for your portfolio website so it is very good a website and it is very easy now one thing i forget to show you this website is completely responsive so let's see its responsiveness so i minimize the tab and you can see it automatically align according to its mobile size and you can see the wallpaper is also responsive and the text is also responsive and let us suppose i increase the size of the tab and you can see now i minimize it again and you can see it work fine so it is amazing website and it give you amazing experience if you make this website so this website is completely responsive and uh, i want to show one more thing the navigation menu is also completely responsive and it has a button to display all the things so don't further delay now let's start the video and see how to build this amazing website So for this simply open your Visual Studio code. So I open my Visual Studio code here. So first take a new file. So I simply take a new file by control plus and now first save this file with any name with dot html extension. So I save it with website learning. Now take a new file for CSS. So simply take a new file and save it with any name with dot CSS extension. So simply type website learning dot CSS. Now save it. Now inside the website learning html first we have to embed the bootstrap link or we have to implement the CSS link. So using the bootstrap and CSS into our project. So first of all, take a doc type. So take open backend type doc type. Now take a head HTML tag. Now take a head tag. And inside the head tag, we have to embed the all link or we can say we have to implement all our links, bootstrap, CDN link, and we can say the CSS link. So first of all, I am to implement my CSS link. So simply take an open bracket type link, rel inside double quote simply type style sheet then href then in double quotes your file name my file name is website learning dot css now close this now we have to paste the bootstrap link so how you can paste the bootstrap link so for this you simply open your chrome browser so i open my chrome browser and open a new tab here simply type here bootstrap and get bootstrap.com is the official website so first of all now click on documentation so after clicking on documentation, you have seen this is the CSS link. So first of all, copy the CSS link. So simply click on copy. Now come into your Visual Studio code and paste this link here. So I paste the link here. Now press enter and here we have to paste three more links. So now come down and this is the JS link, which is popper.js and bootstrap.min.js and slim jQuery link. So simply copy this all of three. Now copy this and paste it here. Now done. Now our links pasted successfully and we are ready to write the code. So first of all, before writing the code, we have to give our title to our website. So simply take an open bracket and type title and give any title which is you want to give. So I simply gave my first website, but you can give anything here. Now below the link 
we have to add a meta description so simply take an open bracket and type meta and give the name viewport now come outside from double quotes type content with device dash with inside the double quotes you have to type initial scale equal 1.0 then shrink to fit shrink to fit equal no then close this double quotes and close this bracket now I am forget to here give the comma so simply give the comma one here and give one comma here and remove this point zero because we don't need it now we are ready to write the code so below the HTML head tag we have to take a body tag so press enter and take a body tag here so I simply type body and inside the body we have to write all of our code so inside the body we have to write all of our code so first I minimize it and now I simply give a comment here to show the all code start from here so all code start from here so by the help of comment it is easy to remember our code so first of all we need a responsive navigation menu for our website so it is better if we use bootstrap navigation menu so for this simply open your chrome browser and you can see already bootstrap website is open so simply click on contents so I click on contents sorry simply click on components so I click on components and here you can see lots of components are available so and simply click on navbar so I click on navbar now you can see there are lots of navigation menu bar are available here so you can use this one you can use any one it is your choice which type of you want so I am going to use this type of one which contain and some feature and like a drop down link so you can use anything it is your choice so I am going to use this one so I simply click on copy and copy the code so after copy the code open your visual studio code and paste it here so when you paste it here you can see first of all I minimize it everything and I open my folder so I double click on it and here you can see this is our website so you can see this is the website or we can say navigation menu which we use now but in my website you can see this type of navigation menu is appear so first of all we have to convert this into this so how do we convert this we have to use some CSS and we have to make some changes into our bootstrap code so let's start and making some changes into our bootstrap code so we have to make this to this now I open my visual studio code again and first of all this is the nav brand navbar brand and here you have you can see this is the type navbar so first of all replace it by your brand name so I simply type here tech projects but you can type according to you now there is one thing I have to change this to background color dark but you can use any color so I simply type here dark and when I open the web website and refresh it you can see this is converted to dark now I have to make the change now I have to make the change of here we can say text color and everything else so you can see where is the text right we have to also make it dark so change it by dark and again open it and refresh it and you can see now the color changes successfully now our color change successfully now first of all what I have to do I have to place all the icons here and I have to also make this text tech projects into bold and orange in, into the orange color and also I have to add a background image so how I can do it so now first I want to show this navigation menu is completely responsive so you can see this is the completely navigation and responsive so hope you understand why we use bootstrap because bootstrap provide all the component and and bootstrap is famous due to its responsiveness so now we have to make some changes and place it to here and I also add we have to add a background image so I open my visual studio code again so first of all take a div class so simply take an open bracket type div and give the class name pg image this pg image is help to make editing into the CSS and also help to add a background image so copy the closing tag so I cut the closing tag from here and paste it here below this navigation bar or we can say navigation menu so I paste it here just above the body tag now we have to also take an container type of class so simply press enter below this line nav where dark bg dark so below this line you have to take an div class so simply take type div and class name give the class name container now close this too and after closing simply cut this closing tag here from here and paste it here below this so first of all if we want to make our tech projects into bold and we have to if we want to change the color of tech projects so simply come here into the a class which show the navbar brand and here we have to write the code so simply type here text dash warning warning means red color or we can say orange color into the bootstrap and then space then type font weight and give the font weight bold and that's easy now what you have to do open your 
Visual Studio Code and open your website and you can see now the text color changed successfully and it looked perfect. Now what we have to do, we have to place this icons into here. So first of all open your Visual Studio Code. Now come down here below the navbar nav drop down item you can see this is the ul class this ul class contain all item home feature pricing so if you want to change this items you can change it from here so like like if i type here portfolio and if i type here github so you it is your choice what you want according to your website now if you make this icons place on to the right side we have to make change into the ul class so simply type space and type here ml dash auto and it automatically plays our icon on the right side and when I refresh it you can see now this come on to the right side and look, look perfect and you can see it is very easy so one thing I want to show you can see if you copy this code and after copy just paste it here and if you paste it here and open your browser and refresh it you can see now there are four icons so it is totally depend on you how many icons you want so I simply make it three here but you can add as many icon it is your choice and it is your choice whether you want to change the text or not so I am not going to change the text here now first of all I have to add a background image so first how to add background image open your CSS file again after opening CSS file again what you have to use we already give a BG class the background image so you can see this is the BG image division class so we are going to use this image so simply type here dot BG image now take two curly braces and inside this we have to write all of our code so first give the background size so I simply type here background size and this is the background size give the 100% 100% size now give the height so you can give any height to your image I give 600 px according to my browser and now give the width and width is always 100% so I give 100% width now give your background image so I simply type here background image now first type here URL so background image URL and inside the URL we have to give our image name so my image name is bg dot png so that's it now first of all I, I have to place my image into my folder so I open so this is the image so I cut it so I copy this image and now I paste it here so simply paste it after pasting we are ready to use this image so I open my browser and refresh it and you can see the image come here successfully so now this image does not contain the parallax effect if I drop down our menu or we can say if I drop down this and we if I say if I come down then it does not stand to fix and if we want to make this images to fix so we have to type one more line so if we want to give parallax effect to your website so simply you have to type background attachment and site set it to fixed so it automatically fix the image onto your browser so when you drop down or we can say come down this image not moving so you can see this is the beauty of the code and it is very easy and you can do it by on and if you does not want to parallax effect then you can you don't need to type this line you can remove it so it is your choice now I open my HTML code again so first I want to show what we have to do now so you can see now our website created successfully and you can see it look fine so in my website <coughs> you can see these all are text on into white color so this is not in white color so how to make this text into white color so for this you have to make some change into our li class so simply add a line here a class link so simply type here text dash white now copy this code control c copy and paste it here also paste it here also and paste it here also now open your browser and refresh it and you can see now every item of portfolio github pricing drop down link is appeared into the white color so it is your choice whether you want which color you want so you can set the dark color you can set the primary color so bootstrap provides some color like primary secondary warning dark light it is your choice which color you want now we need a text onto our website so you can see this is the text welcome to our website and nice to see you here and we need a subscribe button so how we can do this following thing so open your visual studio code again and below the nav closing tag you can see be remember below the nav closing tag and just above the two division tag so here you have to type first i want to declare a class so simply take an open bracket type div now type class now simply give the class name container then we need this text center in center so simply type text dash center now we need the text color white so simply type text underscore white not underscore dash and now give the class name and give the one more class name header set because we are going to use this class to make changes in our text into make the changes from padding top or we can say we have to if we want to give some changes into our text so we have to use this class into a CSS file so simply type here header set now close this bracket after closing this bracket 
first we need a heading so as you know what we take in html so simply type s2 you can give h1 s2 it is your choice so i give simply give s2 heading now here i type welcome to our website and now press enter and below this line i need a one more line so i take an h1 tag because i want this text little bit larger rather than the welcome to our website now i type here nice to see you here that's it now below this text we need a button so simply take an open bracket type button now give the input type button now type class and we are going to use bootstrap classes so simply type btn and btn dash warning it set the text color orange and you can check on internet how many types of color available in bootstrap so you can use any color now type btn dash lg lg means large so it means we are going to use large button and now close this after closing simply type a text which you want to display on your button so i simply type here subscribe and that's it now after this simply open your vs code again chrome browser again and refresh it and when you refresh your browser and you can see refresh your file you can see text are appearing here and the button is also present but not the color of button is not visible properly so let's check what we do the mistake so i give the wrong spelling mistake i have to give warning now again i open my browser and refresh it and you can see now the button color appears successful so bootstrap provide many colors like if i simply change by warning by primary so you can see and if i change by lg to md it means md means medium so if i open my browser again and when i refresh it you can see the button size gets small and the color is also changed so you can implement any kind of color you can simply check from internet and which type of color has correspond to which word now i simply control z and do all operation now we need this text just into the center so for this what we have to do we have to open your css file so after opening css file we are going to use dot header set so we already declare a class of dot header set so simply type dot header set now simply type here padding top and give any padding so i think 300 px is fine now i open my browser again and refresh it and when i refresh it you can see this is not appear on perfect size so 230 px is fine so i simply give it 230 px now i again open it and refresh it and now you can see now our button or we can say text plays into the center and it look perfect and it look great now one thing i want to show you let us suppose if i decrease the size of the tab and this text is not responsive so it does not fit according to the size of browser and you can see that the size remains same so if we want to make it pure responsive then we have to use css media queries so why we have to use css media queries like this text size is small but if i want you can see this text size is very large so if i increase the size here then it does not remain responsive so for making it responsive completely responsive we have to use css media queries so now let's do the code into the css file and we have to use css media queries so i simply do a comment here text responsiveness start from here it is always better if you give the comment now for using css media query simply type at the rate and then type media then inside bracket simply type min with min dash width and give the width 540 px now what is the min width this is the width for our smallest size or we can say smallest mobile phone so sm smallest size or smallest mobile phone so if if someone uses our website into mobile phone then what size of text you want to pair it is totally depend on you so you can set any size of text according to different sizes of mobile and tablet so it is your choice now i already give the class header set and now i want to set the sex size of s2 heading so simply type s2 heading then type font size and give any font size i think 1.5 ram is fine what is ram 1 ram is equals to 16 pixel so it is fine now i copy this code after copy just below paste it here and now this time i want to change the text size for s2 h1 tag and for h1 i simply need some size large so above i give 1.5 ram and here i give 30 px so it is your choice which type of dimension you want to use now this text i also need in bold so simply type font weight and set it bold and that's it now open your browser and refresh it now this text is normally appear normal here but why because we set the media query for minimum device width which is 544px so let us suppose if i decrease the tab size so you can see if i decrease the tab size now this text is increased this size is small and if i completely fit it to mobile then you can see the size of text is increases successfully because we implement the text size only for our mobile now we have to apply the text or media queries for both tablets large devices and for desktop 
so now let's start doing code so now it's time to apply the media queries for tablets so for this what you have to do simply copy the all code after copy the all code just paste it here and first i want to remove this extra space now for tablets the size of the screen is 768 pixel so simply type here 768 and in tablets which type of size you want so i think in tablet if someone uses my website then 2 ram is fine and for this h1 heading i need 40px and that's it now for the large devices which is desktop so again first i remove the extra space then i again copy this code after copy this code just paste it again and for large devices the screen size is 992px so replace it by 992 and that's it and in large devices what i need i need the font size of s2 heading 2.5 and the h1 heading tag i need the size is 50px so I simply replace it by 50. Now this is the last one is left for extra large devices which is greater than the 1200 px. So 992 is the for large devices and for extra large devices we have to give the minimum with 1200 px. And here we I need the text size 3 RAM is fine for S2 heading and for H1 heading 70 px is fine. Now our media query is set up correctly for our text. Now what I have to do I have to simply open my browser and refresh the code. And when I refresh the code you can see this is for large device and if I decrease the size according to the mobile then the size text size is present like this and if I do the size of the mobile is or we can say website size for according to tablet so the text size is this and if I increase it to large size then the text appear like this. So media queries is very helpful and you can implement this type of logic of media queries into your any kind of website so it is very helpful for you and maybe I clear this doubt in very easy way. So now open your vs code again so our website is completely ready so you can see our home screen is completely ready now what i have to do i have to make a cards so first we have to give this heading then we have to design these cards and at last we design our social media icons so let's do the code so open your html file and i open my html file and now simply come here and give the comment and now simply here you have to type cards start from here because now we are ready to write the code for our card so simply type cards start from here because comments always remove the extra confusion and it is always better to give the comment in quotes so for adding cards first we have to take a section so simply take an open bracket and type here section <clears throat> now give the class name so simply type here class and give the class name which you want i give our services and give space and type bg dash light what is bg dash light bg means background and light means light background and you can type here light or you can type here dark it is your choice now close this section after closing this section we need first two headings why we need two headings you can see this is my website and this is the projects and everything at one place so we need these two headings so for this we have to need two heading class so simply take an open bracket type and take h1 tag and inside this you can write anything which you want i simply type here projects but you can write anything now below this i need a one more heading so simply i take an s2 tag and now close this now here i type everything at one place now below this heading this is the section and inside this section we design all of our cards so inside this first we have to understand how we can make card so in a row we can add up to maximum three cards be remember maximum three cards or for adding a three cards in a row first we have to declare a class of row type so simply take an upper bracket and type row then give type class and give the class name row i type here row then close this after closing simply take one more class inside this so simply type div then type class and give the class name card now close this too after closing this just take a division tag one more division tag inside this card so simply type div then class now type call lg dash lg dash 4 now what is this call lg means we are going to make our card responsive so for this we have to use some bootstrap classes or we can say bootstrap code so this is the call lg4 means lg means large now we have to give the dimension for medium also so type call dash md dash 4 now for small so simply type call dash sm dash 12 that's it now type call dash 10 and now type d dash block and this is all the bootstrap code now type m dash auto what is m margin auto now close this division tag too after closing this division tag be remember after closing this division tag now here i do a little bit mistake 
what i do a mistake i need to take this card inside this line so sorry for this mistake so i simply cut it from here and just i paste it here don't worry of this just simply cut it and paste it here now let's check it how many division tags are present here though this is section and this is division and this division so this division is extra so i delete this now inside this division or we can say inside the division class card class we have to take our image source so you have to type here image then type src and your image name so you can type any image name it is your choice so i simply type here my image name dp.png because my image name is dp.png but you can type here according to your own image name now simply type class after space and type card dash img img dash fluid it make our image responsive now close this bracket after closing this bracket below this take a division class one more division class which is going to define our card body so simply type div then type class then give any class name so this is a for card body so i simply type card dash body now close this division tag inside this division tag we need two headings why we need two heading to show the name of our project and and to show the description of our project so simply take an s2 tag and you can s3 tag it it is your choice now inside this first type what you ever you want so i simply type here date picker now inside the s2 tag we remember after give some space after s2 and type here because this is going to our class card title so simply type here class and then type card title because this class is help to edit our bootstrap code or we can say html code using css now below this we need one more heading so simply take an open bracket type paragraph because this is the paragraph if someone want to show large description of his project then this is known as paragraph so we take a paragraph here now inside the class name simply type card text now close this now inside this whatever you want to type you can type i simply type here date picker in android studio that's it now first let's check it what we create so i open my browser and refresh it and when i refresh it you can see it show me projects everything at one place and a date picker card so you can see now it's look fine now let's check what is the problem we need to place this project into the center and also we need to place date picker and date picker in android studio also in center so let's do the code so for placing our projects into the center what we have to make we have to take a division class which is known as container because why we need a container type because if we want to place this text into center we need to take a division one more class below this section so simply press enter and type here div now type class and type container now type text dot center this division class help to place our text in center now cut this division tag from here and after cutting this tag from here just paste it here and that's it now open your browser again and refresh it and you can see now the text come into the center successfully and this text is also come here into the successfully because we write all we can say we take our card inside this container so it automatically align all the text into the center now just reconfirm you how many division tag we have still first i remove the extra space from here so see we need we have a section and in, there is a section closing tag now this is the container div div class container so this is the div this is the division class for row and this is the closing division for row now this is the division tag for cards so if we need one more card or we can say if we need as many cards then what you have to do we have to copy this code simply so as i already tell you in one row we can add up to maximum three cards so <clears throat> this row contain already one card then what i have to do if i need one more card then i have to copy the code so from where i have to start copy the code i have to start from this line class call lg4 and this is one division tag 2 3 so 1 2 3 now simply copy this code because three starting tag three closing tag after copy this code simply just paste it here below down and for one more card simply press enter again paste it and again open your browser and when i open my browser and refresh the page you can see now there are three cards appear successfully and now as i already tell you we can use up to three card in a row now we have to create a one more row for adding as many cards so for how you can do this you can see this is the row which contain all cards so we have to simply copy the code from row so i start copying from here be remember at last just left this division tag and last just left the section tag so i come down copy the code and i just left this division tag and section tag now control c copy now press enter 
and simply paste it here and after pasting open browser again and refresh it and you can see now we have six card and these six card are responsive and it automatically aligned to the browser tab size and you can see the responsiveness work fine so hope you understand how to make card and it is very easy and it and it looks amazing now what we have to do we have to simply add some space here some space here increase the text size and we have to also give some space between this and also we have to give some space between this so i am not going to make a different text and different images into every card so you can do it by on it is very easy you have to simply change the image name in every section or we can say in every image source now for making change in into the css class for open so for this open your css file and we have to write some code here so come down and simply type here card editing start from here because it is always better to give the code now as you already know we give a class name our services so simply type here our services and then take two braces and inside this we have to simply give a padding top to our text so i simply give the padding top 100 px now open your browser and refresh it and now you can see the padding come successfully now what i have to do i have to increase the text size so you can add as me me media queries into this text too as i already add the media queries on to our welcome to our website and nice to see you here so it is your choice whether you want to add media queries on this line or we can say this heading too so i am not going to add media queries here i give to a simple heading and simply give the text size for h1 heading so i need h1 heading as bold so first i simply type font weight bold and then i give the font size 60 px 60 px is fine so you can add a media, media query to make your website more beautiful or great so it is your choice now again i open my browser and refresh it and you can see now it look perfect now we have to add some space built below the text or we can say we have to add some space between the cards so for what we have to do we have to use dot card so because we already give the class name card so we have to going to use this class so simply type here dot card then take two braces and simply give the margin top and give the margin top 40 px it automatically add the space between the cards so simply type and refresh your code and you can see now the margin is set up correctly and now this background is light so if you want to change the background then what you have to do simply come into the css code and you can see into the section we give our background color so simply i give here light simply if i type here dark then i open my browser and refresh the code and you can see the dark color is looking nice so it is your choice which color you want to use so i again open my browser and again i set it to light so and the responsiveness of card is work fine so i decrease the tab size and now you can see it automatically aligned to the perfect size and it looked great so now only the footer is left so we have to add social media icon into the footer so how we can do this so we have to simply write the code for our footer now for social media icons first i have to write the code and we can say i write the comment here social media icon code start from here so basically this type of social media icons i already designed in my previous one video so i want to show what i designed in my previous one video so you can see this type of social media icon i already designed in my video and it is already uploaded on a youtube channel so i am not going to design this cards or we can see this social media icons completely i am going to use this code and simply edit this code and make this code to work like this so what i have to do i have to simply copy the code and simply reduce the size of this and also place it below this so i am not going to write the all code so you don't face any difficulty you don't feel any difficulty simply watch this video of social media icon i give the link of video and i button and simply write the code after writing the code simply do the process which i am going to do so you are not going to face any difficulty if i use simply follow the process so for this i open my notepad and first of all i have to add the font or some link if i I want to use the icons of social media so simply I have to open we can say I have to use the font awesome link so I copy this link from here now I open my visual studio code and simply I paste the link into head tag so I simply come here and paste the link here of font awesome now I again open my notepad and I copy the code so simply copy the code from ul tag so I copy the code from ul tag after copy the code from ul tag simply control c now paste the code here so i simply paste the code here now you have to give the different class to this social media icon so simply type here class and give the class name icon because we are going to use this class to edit our css code so first i want to show what we implement into our website so i open my website and refresh it and you can see 
these social media icons are come here successfully now what you have to do we have to simply place it into here and also we have to add this type of our effect into our social media icon so i open my code of social media icon you can simply get this code from my video which is uh, already give the link of in i button so if you watch this video you're never going to face any difficulty now simply copy the code from top to bottom and just don't copy the code of body remove the code of, of body and simply copy the remaining code so i simply start copying from here and i copy all code from till end and control c copy now i minimize it and i open my visual studio code and open my css file now simply place the code here now this code is not going to work because we give the we simply change the class name by icons because we already give the class name icon here and here i use the ul so i have to make change here so what i have to make change here i have to simply first i simply have give a comment here because social media icons and i close the comment now simply replace the ul by icon so simply type here dot icons and you can see this is the class dot icon so i simply type here dot icons now copy copy it word copy this word and simply type everywhere where the ul is written so i type here i paste it here i paste it here i paste it here i paste it here and i paste it here now replace it by here and that's done now after changing this open your website again and refresh your browser and after refreshing your browser you can see now the social media icon appear on the top but the hover effect added successfully first we have to decrease the size of this and also we have to place all social media icons into the footer so what changes we have to make so i open my css file again so first of all i have to decrease the size of this so i simply give the width 50 is fine and height is also 50 is fine so you can set it according to you and simply give the line height 40 and what is the font font is the text written into the icon so which is facebook twitter so i simply change the font 20 from 35 so i again open my website and refresh it and now you can see the icon size decreased successfully and it look perfect now we have to simply place these icons just below this cards so i open my visual studio code again and where i have to make change so simply remove the line of top 50 percent because it considered from the top and simply give here margin top so simply give the margin top 100 px so it is fine after giving the 100 px open your website again and refresh your browser and now you can see our social media icons implement successfully and it looks amazing and our website is almost completed now what i have to make i have to simply add a footer so i open my html and for adding the footer we have to simply write the code here so now for adding the footer simply take an open bracket and type footer and now give any class name so i simply type here footer now close this after closing this simply take an s6 heading because i need the footer size small and give the class name because i need this footer into the center so simply i type here center now close this s setting and simply type here whatever you want i simply type here design by tech projects and that's it now open your browser and refresh it and now you can see footer come here successfully in but we need this footer just below our social media icons so for this what we have to make we have to so simply type here use the class name of dot footer so simply type here dot footer so i simply type here dot footer now give the padding top 150 px is fine and and give the height 150 px so i simply give the height 150 px but padding top may be large so i simply replace it by 100 100 px is fine i open my website and refresh it and now you can see this footer into come on not come on to the right place it just present behind our social media icon so we need some we have to give uh, some padding or we can say give the line height to this footer so for this we have to use s6 adding so simply come here and type dot footer and your heading is s6 and now type line height and give the line height 150 px now open your website and refresh it and now you can see our footer is come on to the successfully at perfect place so our website is completely ready and you can see and this social media icons is still responsive but we are not using any responsiveness into our social media icons so why this is responsive because this the size of the social media icons it is very small so when i decrease the size of the tab it automatically align perfectly to the all sizes so you can see now it work fine and our website is completely ready
so hope you learn something great and something new in this video and i try to explain everything in a very easy way so if you face any difficulty while implementing the social media you can simply watch this video i give the link of video already in i button so so i hope you like the tutorial of this simple website and how to make a simple website using bootstrap some html and some css so it's going to give you amazing experience if you try to make this website so you can change the images of this and you can change the text i am not changing the text into this video so due to the length of the video so hopefully you understand everything if there is any query simply comment down below i try to give the answer of every comment please like the video and subscribe my channel for for web development project for render project thank you see you soon in next video